It was uh, last week on law and order criminal intent, <laughs> if you happen to see. Was that what it's called, criminal intent? If you happen to have seen it, the Red Book was displayed itself, and it was part of a cult. It was, <laughs> it was uh, inspi inspiring some, inspiring some, I don't know whether they were vampires or, they were, Now, of course, it's been reviewed. You know, we've had meetings at, like this in New York and Los Angeles and the New York Times and so on and so forth. What is its importance in our culture at this moment? Is what I have been saying about the dead, about the voices, about letting the demons speak, about the deep polytheistic background that has been forgotten, about the depth of the, the profundity of one's personal life and its importance, and the individual search for, not for meaning, but for image, for images. Meanings don't carry you through, but the images are your companions. You can have all the slogans in the world and explanations and understandings, but what carries you through are the voices and figures you live with and can talk with. Is that what's missing? Is that what they call? It's so radically different from anything else in psychology, so radically different from today's cultural milieu of technology, economics, uh, reason, information. You know, when the book first, I don't know if I'm going on too long, am I? Okay. Um, when the book, uh, when it was being written around 1915, let's say, just that period, at that time, current in the mind was Blavatsky, surrealism, parapsychology, in, worked on by leading intellects like William James and many others in England, Dadaism, German Expressionism, Joyce. There were com compatible and comparable experiments in other areas. In our time, this book is absolutely freakish because we have lived, we live in such a narrow, technical, rational, explanatory, causal way of thinking. We have shrunk our, our mindset tremendously since the beginning of the century when this book was not as strange, in my mind, would not have been as strange. After all, Jung wrote his doctoral dissertation in the year two, uh, 1900 on occult phenomena for a medical degree. Think of that in today's medicine. Today's medicine is packed with occult phenomena. <laughs> but so it's the book has, is sort of a necessity. The book is a necessity in our time, and it is recognized on a deep level of the collective psyche. Thank you very much. <laughs>